Hey guys, Prince Press 3X, and today I'm filming my February favorites slash dislikes. Um, I didn't want to do hits and misses because I felt like I didn't buy I didn't buy a lot in February, so I thought it'd be sort of useless to do a hits and misses because I'd be reviewing the few products that I got, which was like two or three products, so it's useless at that point. So I'm doing favorites, but there are going to be some other products that I sort of want to tell you what I think about them, whether it be like or dislike, so I hope that doesn't confuse you too much. And then past all the makeup and skincare and accessories, I will have my random favorites of the month, um, be it songs or shows or whatever I've been just loving this month. I'm just going to get started with the makeup so that it doesn't last forever. And my biggest section will probably be the random favorites because I don't have a lot of makeup and stuff this month. Anyways, um, so the first thing has to do with skincare. I guess I'll start with skincare for this month. So it is the Equate Original Clean Facial Cleansing Palettes. And this is 60 palettes on this package. And I've been using these all month to take off my makeup. And I usually do about two sheets if I'm wearing full foundation on my face. Um, and there's nothing really special about these. They're just regular cleansing wipes. But I like them because they're quicker than my Pond's Cold Cream, which is, or not my Pond's Cold Cream, but my Cold Cream, which is what I did use to take off my makeup, as you guys know, if you watch my skincare routine. But I've been using this just because it is quicker, and it's a lot easier. I do have to rub a little harder, but um, I feel like it gets my all of my makeup off. Like, I feel like my face is cleaner afterwards rather than the Cold Cream. So I do like this, and it's a really great deal if you get them from Walmart, which I think is the only place to buy the actual Equate brand. But... Um, if you buy Equate from Walmart, it comes two huge packages. I have another full 60 one that I haven't used yet. Um, in one package for like $5, I think, or like $3, somewhere around there, 3 to 5 And this will last you one package if you use two, like I do, last you about a month or so. Um, and then the other package will last you another month. So two months, $3. It's a really great deal. And I definitely recommend these if you're looking for a quick cheap and easy um, makeup remover that won't irritate your skin. Now it's nothing special like I said, but it doesn't irritate my skin. I haven't broken out from it, so um, I actually do really like these. And then moving on with skincare is my moisturizer that I've been using for most of February, I think. And this is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream Moisturizer. And this is odd. Um, I'm not sure whether I like this or dislike this just yet because I've sort of been skipping using this. I don't use it as often as I normally do because I've been skipping moisturizer altogether, which I know is horrible. I don't know why I've been doing that, but I've sort of been avoiding this product, and I think it's because it's just not what I'm used to, and it's not what I expected. Um, it comes in this jar, which is not that healthy or hygienic, but um, I don't really care, to tell you the truth. And it is this gel green gel product and it's like it'll it'll slosh around the container so you don't want to dump this because it will dump all out and it is a gel and it is cool it stays at a cool temperature even if you have a room temperature and it just blends right into your skin the only thing I don't like about this is when you put it on it takes about forever to really absorb it absorbs within like five minutes which isn't that slow but it's not that fast either so I don't like that feeling of it just sitting on my face for a while and the cooling effect is actually really nice I really like it because I use this mostly in the morning so it's really nice in the morning to wake me up but I think maybe I've been avoiding this because of the smell it has a really really strong generic skincare smell one of the like I want to say cucumbers but it's not I guess it is like the generic cucumber smell or if once you smell this, you'll know what I'm talking about if you smell this. That really generic skincare smell. I've had a million skincare products smell like this, and every single time I hate it. It's just not something that I really like having right on my face. And the smell does last a little while. So that's the only thing that really bothers me about this, along with the fact that it doesn't absorb very well. Um, but I haven't used this enough to really give an opinion on it yet, which is why I wanted to include it in this video. To tell you that I don't hate it yet, but I don't really love it either. It's not as moisturizing as I wanted it to be. I expected it to be a really intense moisturizer, just because that's what I had heard. Heard, but it's not as intense as I thought it would be. So it's a little bit disappointing at this point. Um, I hope it gets better. I hope I continue to use it and like it because it is fairly um, pricey for a moisturizer depending on when you get it. Um, from Rite Aid I think is where I got mine 
um, $8 I think so it is fairly pricey depending on where you get this so it's definitely not something you just want to blow your money on and then not like so I hope I like this and use it you guys know I was using my userin before that so I do love my userin but I was hoping to get a more intense moisturizer um, continuing on, I guess, with skincare, even though this really isn't skincare, is my Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple Pocket Bag. And I mentioned this in my After Christmas haul, but I don't think I ever mentioned this in a favorites video. I absolutely love this hand sanitizer. It is amazing. Um, it smells so good. And I have a really tiny amount left. But it smells just like apples. Um, I know they have Fresh Market Apple as a regular scent for their pocket bags. But I was like staring at a squirrel. <laughs> but um, it doesn't smell as strongly as apple as this one does. And it doesn't smell as sweet as apple as this one does. And this one is a limited edition holiday scent. So you can't buy this one anymore right now. They do re-promote it every holiday, I think. But this was a gift from Lexi Vexi for part of my Christmas present from her. And I loved it so much that I went back and got another one while they were on sale. So I have... A full bottle on my purse now but that's my last bottle so I guess I'll try and find the full size online or something I don't even know um, but I love it so much and then next is nails and um, if you guys have heard of this box you know what I'm talking about you guys have probably already heard of birch box and everything um, but there is a box called julep maven and it is from julep which is a nail company and um, I think it's only nails and the Julep Maven box is basically a sample box, like most boxes. It's $20 a month, and it features their nail products mostly. And there's, like, different styles and everything. And there's this promo code that they have going on right now. I think it's still going on, where you can get your first trial box for one cent. Um, I did do that, but I don't think I'm going to use it to using the service just because I think $20 is a little too expensive for what I actually got on my box. Um, I don't think I'd pay $20 a month. For that so you can do it and just get the boxes when you want to cancel every month or just cancel your subscription altogether I might keep my subscription and then maybe renew it some months where I think I'm gonna get a really good box so um, we'll see what happens but um, I have two things from my trial Julep Maven box and mine is the Boho Glam version um, I think there's like three or four different versions and it did come in a nice little box I'll show you did come in a nice little box that said Julep Maven, and it came with four items, and only two of them are my favorites this month. Um, the first one is one of their nail varnishes, and this is the Julep nail varnish, or it says varnish, but nail varnish, and this is in Oscar. And this color is absolutely, positively gorgeous. It's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's this um, really nice gold glitter. And usually when I get glitters, I just avoid them because they're hard to take off. They're sort of useless if you can't find a really good one because it's like sheer. But as you can see, it is a really opaque glitter, which I love. And this is only two coats. So I'm really impressed by their polishes. The only thing I found wrong with this is that... Um, it does smell really strong, stronger than most polishes. The polish fumes are really strong. Um, and it goops. Like, it's really thin, but when you brush it on, it gathers at the tip of your nail. So that's the only problem I found with that, and that, that may be the case with all glitter polishes, and I just don't own enough glitter polishes to know. Um, but I do love this color. It's what I'm wearing on my nails. I'm wearing it as a gel manicure right now, because I did a gel manicure with it, um, so that it would last. And... Um, so I can't tell you about the lasting power of it because I don't know how it works on its own without a gel over it. But I love this polish color and I'm really addicted to it. I've been wearing it for about a week and a half now and um, I just love the color. It's really, really pretty. And I think gold is nice because it matches with everything. So, And then the other product that I've been loving is the Julep Essential Cuticle Oil. came in this box here. And... I own a cuticle cream where it's a cuticle oil in pressed form and you rub it on your um, cuticles and that's nice but I like this one so much more and I guess I never really thought too hard about using cuticle cream because I don't use them all the time. I usually use them right after I do my manicure and then I don't use them anymore but I've been using this one all the time um, throughout this manicure and it looks like this. It comes in a bottle similar to the um, polish except for the polish is... Um, a tad bigger and <clears throat> it is a roller ball and I have a decent amount of product in here of course but it is a roller ball and 
I love this essential oil. It is really, really, really nice. I noticed right after the first use, I put it on my nails and then rubbed it into my cuticles. And I noticed after the first use, after waking up the next day, looking, they were so much cleaner looking and so much softer and um, less harsh looking. My nails, my cuticle beds, get really, really, really dry. So I love having this oil because it really does moisturize them really well and it works great. So I love this oil. I've been using it all the time um, when I start my manicure and like every two days with my manicure just for upkeep. So I do really like this. Um, it is fairly oily because it is an oil. So if you don't like that sort of feeling, you probably wouldn't like this. But um, if you don't mind, it's really nice. And it says, I don't know if it said this with the polish, but it says that um, every julep um, polish, uh, $1 donated to organizations that empower women because julep is powered by girlfriends. So. So, just, so that's really nice and their polishes are the three free so that's also nice and um, so those are two favorites from Dulip and I think that although I would not repurchase this polish just because I don't think I'm ever going to run out of a polish I never really have before if I do run out I might repurchase this because this is the best glitter I've ever really run into but I will most definitely repurchase this once I'm done with this. I love this cuticle oil. The only problem with Julep is that you can only buy it online. So it'll be a little bit of a pain. But if I can repurchase this, I definitely will. And then moving on to eyebrows. Because I have two eyebrow products this month, surprisingly. Is my quick eyebrow product, if that makes sense. Um, for my eyebrow routine every day, I do the um, e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Light my eyebrow mascara and then that's usually it um, but recently just as a quicker way to get my eyebrows done it's a lot quicker and easier I've been using the NYX auto eyebrow pencil and it looks like this and this one is in medium brown and um, it's really nice it has this little brush at the top here and it's a nice color I guess um, it's not completely matching but I like it because it blends in so naturally that you can't tell. The only problem with their brown is it is really reddish tinted but um, I almost don't mind that right now because I have a really red tint to my hair. My hair is like burgundy so I love this for really quick days. Um, it goes on easily. It's really pigmented as you can see here and um, it just works really well and really quick so I love this for doing my eyebrows really quickly. And then as far as grooming my eyebrows, as I told you guys, if you watch all my other videos, um, I don't tweeze my eyebrows as much as I used to. I shave them now rather than tweeze them just because it's easier and quicker and less painful. Um, and I normally use um, Ardell razors, I think, to do my eyebrows, but I recently picked a, another razor set, and these razors are so much better. The quality is so much better. And that sort of shows you that the more you pay for an item, the better quality you're generally going to get. These are the Sally Hansen razors. And they come with the brush here. And then the comb here. And then the razor here. And the razor on this is so, so, so nice. If you are looking for eyebrow razors, I definitely recommend this. It's the perfect size. And it is super sharp. But not to the point that you'll cut yourself, of course. But... All it takes is one brush over a hair and it's gone. So this makes your eyebrows look super, super neat if you're looking for a good razor. So I love this. And I think it was decently pricey for eyebrow razors, but it came with three. So um, I do really like these. And then moving on to eyes. Um, I've been using my Almay Bright Eyes Liner Highlighter Duo again, which is surprising because I put this in like, the back of my drawer and just round it again. And this is in Shell and Chocolate. And... I normally only use this during the summer because there's a brown liner on one side and I don't use brown liner. And the gold um, peachy color on this side is just easy for the summer. So um, I've been using this gold peachy side recently again though. And I remember why I loved it in the first place. This is such a creamy pencil. It's like a really nice creamy eye pencil. And I suppose you could even use this for like an eyeshadow base because it's so creamy. But looks like that and it is just the perfect inner corner color. I put this in my inner corner, set it with a little eyeshadow and I'm done for my inner corner. So I love, love, love this pencil. It's so nice. And I even sometimes use it on my face as a highlighter, as a quick highlight. So um, I really love this. It's surprisingly really nice. And the eyeliner side is nice. I don't use it, like I said, because I don't use brown eyeliner. But the eyeliner is equally as creamy. So it's really pigmented and really nice. I love 
love this eyeliner duo. It's really great. And then last but not least for I think makeup in general is my Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio 24 Hour Eyeshadow. And I have mine in Tepest Taupe. Tepest Taupe? I have mine in Tepest Taupe and it is this really pretty mushroom color. And it looks like this. And I really love, love, love this eyeshadow. I was really hesitant to get this or one of these products because I have naturally really oily lids. Surprisingly, I have a really dry face, really oily lids. My eyes produce so much oil. And so I wanted to stay away from these because normally cream eyeshadows crease so quickly on me. So it's useless, even though I would love to use cream eyeshadows. But I got this just because I've heard so many rants and raves about it. And... I picked up the color I guess I thought I would use the most often, and I love this product to death. This product is amazing, and I do plan on picking up more colors. I did mention this in my last haul, by the way. And um, it looks like this, and this color does not crease, and it's super pigmented, and it is a matte finish, by the way. And what I'll do is I'll put this on my lid, set it with a little um, of my clear HD powder, and then put something else on my crease, and it stays on all day without creasing. I just can't rave about this enough. It's amazing, and I do plan on getting all of the colors. Maybe not all of them, but some of the crazier colors and some of the golds and bronzes. So that's it for makeup for this month. Um, I'm sorry if I spoke sort of fast. I just wanted to get it all done, and I'm like running out of memory card space. So I want to mention my random favorites for this month, of course. And um, I decided that this time I'm going to mention three Korean songs, three... American songs. Actually, I only have like two American songs, um, or one, um, and three Korean shows, and then three American movies slash shows. So, um, for my three shows that I've been craving this whole month, um, the first one is Dream High 2, and it's funny because I never watched Dream High 3, or Dream High 3, Dream High 1, um, but I have been obsessed with Dream High 2. I love Dream High 2, and I ship um, JB and Sung, but, um, I've been loving the show, and surprisingly because I didn't think I would like it at all, because I hated Dream High 1 with a passion, I absolutely hated it. I liked the stars in it more, but I hated the sort of plot going on, I just didn't like it at all, it just wasn't me. I, it couldn't keep my attention well enough, so I never watched it, and then I just randomly watched Dream High 2 one day, and now I'm addicted to it. I love the plot, the characters are adorable, um, and the acting is really adorable, and I love that all the actors and actresses in this I have never seen before. Um, well, most of them I have never seen before. So it's nice to see new faces and new actors and new voices, so I really love the show right now. And then the next show is Coffee Prince, and I'm not new to Coffee Prince. I've watched the entire run uh, about 15 times, maybe 20, um, not an exaggeration. I love Coffee Prince. It's my favorite drama, or one of my favorite dramas. And I've watched it like a million times, and I sometimes have times where I just randomly sit down and want to watch Coffee Prince, and that's why I've watched it like 20 times through. So I've been watching Coffee Prince again, um, just going through the season again, just for fun. Um, I know every line by heart, so I don't know why I do it, but I love that show. It's super cute, and Yoon In Hye is my favorite Korean actress, so that also explains that. And then also with shows, I've been watching In Black's Hello Baby, um, and... I've watched Hello Baby before. I did not watch Sonya Shade's season or um, I think Tiara. Didn't Tiara have a season? Maybe not. Um, but I didn't watch those seasons. I watched most of Shiny season and then I just started watching In Black season. And I like In Black season out of all the ones that I've watched before um, just because, I don't know, I like, I don't really like In Black that much. But um, I've liked them more since the show. They're just, it's so cute, and I love that they have multicultural babies. I think that's adorable, and, um, I love all the children equally. I promise I'm not biased, maybe a little bit, towards Lauren. I love Lauren, but I love Dayong as well, and Leo's a little, um, spitball. He reminds me of my brother. Um, but... I love this show so much, and I love that all the little kids have, like, different personalities. It's really, really cute. So I've been obsessed with watching that, and I will put the link to the account down below where I watch my, um, Hello Baby, because I know it's fairly hard to find it with full ink subs. So, I will link it below, and the account is Volcano Silver, I think, um, and she posts all the episodes, 
a few days after they come out in Korea. So it's really, really, really quick. And I love um, how she subs them or he subs them. So, and I will put them in the down bar. And then I watch Coffee Prints on Hulu usually just because Hulu offers it now. Um, I don't really care where I watch my Korean dramas, but I watch Dream High on um, on Drama Fever because Drama Fever gets the episodes first. So um, they're basically the same though. And then as far as um, my song favorites, I have three main song favorites. And then I'm going to actually do something new this month. I'm going to stick down below a playlist where it's my playlist of the month. And you can listen to all the songs that I've been obsessed with this month. And the first one is Dirty by Mirio. And I think that's how you pronounce it. Mirio or Murio or... I think the first part was right. I don't know why you'd say Murio. But um, she is the rapper, main rapper in Brown Eyed Girls. And I love Brown Eyed Girls. They are amazing. And I was so happy to hear that she was coming out with her own um, solo album. And I love her song Dirty. It's really cool. And it surprisingly reminds me of Nicki Minaj. Um... I don't know if you guys hear that when you listen to the song, but I, it totally sounds like Nicki Minaj to me. Just Korean, of course. Um, but I hate Nicki Minaj, so that's weird. But I love Mirio. Her song's cute. Um, it's really cool, and the video is really cool, too. Um, so I've been obsessed with that song. And then also is Severely by FT Island. FT Island always comes out with the most emotional songs. And Severely is no exception to that rule. Um, it's a really pretty song. And I think I fell more in love with it when I watched the music video. Because the music video is equally as emotional. And it's a really pretty story. Um, it, story, plot, line, and the music video. So I definitely watch the music video if you want to listen to the song. Because both together just sounds amazing and looks amazing. It's really great visually um, and listening to it as well. It's a really soft rock ballad. Okay, and then I have one American song and that is My Heart Is Yours by Justin Nozuka. I think that's his last name. I could be wrong because I just wrote this down. Um, and I love this song. It's really pretty, um, sort of indie, and someone else showed me this song, but I'll put that in the down bar like usual. And my playlist, my music playlist will be in the down bar as well. And then three American shows slash movies like I mentioned. Um, the first one is The River, which is a paranormal sort of horror show, and it's really cool. I love the show. Um, I'm addicted to it now. Um, and you can watch it. It comes on Tuesdays at 9. I don't know what channel, but... Um, it's really cool. And then the next one is Awake, which is about a guy who gets in a car crash and lives in two parallel universes, but he doesn't know which one is real. And I've only seen the pilot so far, but it's really interesting. It's got me hooked. And the last is the movie The Vow with Channing Tatum. And it's a really good movie, despite what people said. So I really like that as well. Sorry I went really fast, but I'm running out of time. Um, I love you guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Send me your requests, and I will see you guys later.